Okay guys, so first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove my watch and I'm going to take a piece of cotton wool and a bit of the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and I'm just going to sort of cleanse my face ready for my foundation so it's got a really nice clean base to start on. Now I've already washed my face and everything um, so it should be clean but just in case I am taking off any last bits of residue of yesterday's makeup or whatever is sitting on my face at the moment. So as you can see I hadn't actually managed to get absolutely everything off. This is what I love about the micellar water, it just draws all that rubbish out and doesn't leave your skin feeling super duper icky and I like to run it down my neck as well and round the back just because of how refreshing it is. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry for a couple of seconds. It's nearly dry anyway. So whilst it's drying, I'm going to take my L'Oreal uh, Nude Magique Eau de Teint. And this is in the shade 150 Nude Beige. And I'm just going to shape that up. And I'm going to start by applying an even layer of this all over my face. Now what I like to do is because you ideally need to apply this foundation with your fingers is I like to take two blobs and start on the cheeks and work my way out in circular motions. So as you can see I've put the two fingers together with the product and I'm just uh, in circular motions brushing out towards the outside of my face um, making sure that I rub here so that it tries to prevent any lines and also going on to the ear up onto the temple as well. Now I find that that gives a nice layer to the skin so again I'm going to do the same on the other side like this one blob on the chin remember to blend towards your neck because you do not want any of those nasty lines. I find because this one's quite a watery and quite a, a thin um, or light coverage, um, you don't need to go down on the neck so much. So I'm just going to blob that little blob across here and also go up onto the nose a bit. Okay, so finally onto the nose. One swipe down, blending again in circular motions. Remember to get round the side of your nose as well and if you suffer with redness really work it in because I found that really does help to prevent any redness coming through. And then finally on the forehead uh, which is obviously like the biggest part of the uh, face, well for me anyway, I put three blobs on and again in circular motions I just blend that out. And what I really like about this foundation, again, is like I said, it's a really light coverage. It is very buildable, um, but it's not too expensive. And it leaves my skin feeling so nice. And like I know that I've got coverage without going stupid. Um, but the next thing I am going to move on to is my concealer. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 15. I take it this is one of the lightest ones because... Of the shade that it is. So as you can see I have a couple of blemishes. So I've got one here. I'm just going to cover and then I'm just going to do under my eyes, down my nose. So I normally put about six little blobs under here and again on the other side. And then I put a bit down the nose, a bit on the cupid's bow, and a bit on my chin. I also um, just go back in and I gently get round the side of my nose as well. At the moment I think I'm coming down with a cold so I seem to get a really red nose at the moment. And then all I'm going to do is take my Barbara Daily um, Domed Foundation Brush and I start on the uh, blemish. Now remember concealer and foundation are never going to obliterate the um, blemish, it's just going to help hide it. And then what we do is move under the eyes. I really like this concealer because I feel like it hides my blemishes but it also does a really good job of highlighting where I need to highlight without being 
too in your face. Sometimes I also just go in my finger and just gently blend it as well. And the thing I really like about the Maybelline one is it doesn't seem to um, set too quickly, so it gives you time obviously to work it into the skin. So just down my nose now, around the side. I always just brush it across like that as well because like I said I seem to be suffering with a red nose at the moment. Brush on the cupid's bow and just round here make sure I've got it all in and then finally on my chin. So that is my face concealed. I'm just going to quickly go back in with the concealer and I think this time I'm just going to blend it carefully on my finger like this. Like I said, it does quite a good job of hiding the blemishes, um, which is the idea of a concealer. It's just a concealer. It's obviously not going to make it totally disappear. So the next thing that I'm going to move on to is I'm going to move on to my eyes. Now, I like to use this primer out of this NYC Individual Eyes palette. So I'm just going to take a small bit of that and pop it on the eyelids. Take it right up to the brow bone as well. Just like that. Now I'm going for a super natural look today. So I'm going to take my 24 uh, hour colour edition by Bourgeois in number 2 Derry or Derry. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. And I'm just going to put my finger in the product a couple of times so I pick up that much. And then I'm just going to dab it all over the eyelid and sort of blend it out as well. I'm not going to do too much to the eyes. Um, but I'm just going to do what I feel is enough. So again on this side. If you want more, obviously you can go back like I am now and just build up that colour. What I really love about these 24 hours is they do build up beautifully. And they leave a really nice sheen to the eyes as well. Now if you want to, you can obviously go in and do some work on the crease. But like I said today, I'm not going to do that. So the next thing I'm going to move on to is just in the uh, on the bottom here, I'm going to put a little bit of purple scandalized liner, and this is in 013 purple. So all I'm going to do is obviously just run it here, just to give my eyes a little pop of colour without it being too much, like that. Now if you wanted you could take this and do you know a winged liner up the top as well um, but I think today I'm just going to stick with my normal um, black eyeliner and obviously then you've got the choice of whether you want a felt liner or a pencil liner. I personally like my liquid liner more than I do my pencil when I'm doing my flick. So the way I do my flick is I start in the inner corner, just here, gently pulling along. I love this Primark liner. And then I find the end of my eyebrow, draw a line towards it, and then connect to about the centre of my eye, and just fill in. And that normally gives me a really nice flick. I will sort this little blob out later. Sometimes I seem to get it, sometimes I don't. And then I'm just going to do the other eye the same. So pulling along again. And what I really like about this liner as well is it's like £1.50. And I think it's really good quality for what you're paying anyway. Also, don't be afraid to open your eye and see how it looks. So obviously this side I've gone a little bit heavier with the liner, so now I need them to just match up on this side. Like so. So obviously they're not going to be exactly perfect, but they do match. And like I said, we've just got that jot of colour under here as well with that purple liner, which I found works really well for me at the moment. So the next thing I'm going to take is just my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and we're just going to take a big fluffy brush and just quickly swirl that around and all I'm going to do is just mattify my skin for now um, before I move on to the next step. 
And this is something that I personally like to do, and it's not something that you need to do. So the next step that I do is I fill in my brows. So firstly, I just run through with the spoolie on the end of my eyebrow pencil. Again, this is by Primark, and I think this one is a pound, and this was in medium brown, I think it was. And then all I do is I just quickly run it through in little strokes, following the natural shape of my eyebrow, and again on this side. But this time I try and go a little bit more up um, because obviously I've got the arch there and not so much here. So I just try and create that little arch there. And then I don't have brow gel because I find that mine stay pretty well. And then all I do is just quickly run the spoolie through it again. And I find this is really good with the pencil because it kind of creates a more um, eyebrow uh, hair effect because you sort of brush some of the product back out, which I think is great. Okay, so, moving on to my blush. I'm not doing any bronzer today, um, but if I was going to use any bronzer, I wouldn't use the one in the palette, because it's far too dark for myself. I would use the um, Sun Tint Bronzing Powder in Sunshine by Natural Collection, which is in Boots. Uh, it does look pretty dark, but actually when you apply it to the skin, it's not so bad. I will give you a little swatch of it. Like I said, I'm just not um, in a bronzy mood today, but as you can see, it's really, really light and just gives a really nice little sheen um, to the skin. So I'm just going to take this MAC fluffy brush and I think today I'm going to go with this shade here, which is like a baby doll pink, and then just run that on the apples of the cheek. Being kind of a rosier person, I don't really need a lot of colour to my cheeks. So it's just kind of a little bit of an extra something something, which I especially do if I've got a heavier foundation because it does um, take away a lot of my natural colour. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a highlight and then before I finish the look I'm going to do my mascara and a little bit of something something on the lips as well. So the highlighter is actually in the NYC palette again and it's this little shiny number here and all I do is I take my ring finger and I smile and I pat it along the cheekbones really good tip that I learned off, I think it was Pixie Woo is get a little bit extra, go under your brow bone and gently tap it round in like a C shape and it just flatters the um, area really really nicely now, with my lights, the highlight looks so intense, but in natural light like this, as you can see, it's a lot more subtle and just catches the light really, really nicely. Um, I seem to have quite a, a natural glow today anyway, um, which I will mattify again in a minute. Um, quickly down my nose. This highlight, uh, with it being um, more of a creamy consistency, does tend to take a while to blend out. And then on the Cupid's bow, I love highlight on the Cupid bow. And then a little bit on the chin, just because obviously that's naturally where light would hit. Um, because I'm not happy with how it looks just here, I'm just going to rub it with my foundation brush. Because that will still have a little bit of the concealer on it. So it'll just tone it down. And then again, on the cheek. So like I said, natural light, it won't look as shiny as it does now. And then just go back in with the Stay Matte Powder. And as you can see, the matte powder took that highlight down to quite a natural daily glow anyway. Like I said, I'm going to go quickly in with some mascara. I have the Mega Volume Miss Manga Punky by L'Oreal Paris. And I'm just going to apply a couple of coats of this. A lot of people when they say coats, they generally mean that they'll do like this and then go back and do it again, however I find with 